Hey everyone, I might look a little bit tired today, and it's because I stayed up late watching the Cubs win. First, and the Cubs have won the World Series. Even though I'm tired, it's okay, because guess what happens this weekend? Daylight savings time. It's that amazing time of year when we get an extra hour of sleep for free. So I'm gonna be enjoying that later this weekend. But one thing to remember is that as our behavior changes, because of this arbitrary daylight savings time shift, wildlife behavior doesn't change and they're gonna be wondering why there are so many cars on the road so much later than normal. First things first, keep your eyes on the road. There are an awful lot of distractions available to us these days, from cell phones, through the great music, or even just playing with the radio buttons. And it only takes a second for an animal to run out in front of our cars. So keep your eyes on the road, and if you can, invest in some hands-free technology, because, you know, it's, it's just better. You should always be looking ahead when you're driving, especially when there might be animals around. Keeping your eyes forward and looking for the glow of the eyes of an animal from the headlight reflection, looking for their silhouettes, paying attention to road signs where they've said animals might be crossing. Those are all really important things to be doing this time of year. Keep your car clean and safe. It sounds kind of straightforward and simple, but living in Canada, we all know one person who doesn't clear snow off the roof, who doesn't keep their wipers repaired, or who for some reason never refills their washer fluid and has a film across their windshield. All of those things make it harder to see something outside of your car. And again, when you're dealing with these fraction of a second decisions, you need that extra help. And so do the animals. So please stay safe out there and enjoy that extra long snooze this weekend.